What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kelvin Krupiak and today I'm gonna to give you all the different ways you can keep your shirt tucked in properly. All right guys, so one of the things that drives me absolutely insane is when I look in the mirror and I notice that my shirt is baggy right around the waistline. Not only does it hide every flattering element of your upper body by skewing the perception of your proportions, but it also makes it look like you just don't care how well your clothes fit. And speaking of the fit, that is the first thing you need to consider if you wanna be able to tuck your shirt in properly. The hem or bottom of your shirt should go down past your butt, so when you tuck it in, it stays tucked. Shirts that are meant to be untucked are gonna have a higher rise in the back and they're gonna sit right around mid crotch, maybe a little bit higher up front. Also, another thing that I like to do is get my shirts tailored. So I have the inside actually tapered down to fit and outline my body correctly. So there's less material being pushed into my pants when I'm trying to tuck the shirt. And you can get the exact same thing done. It costs no more than anywhere from 12 to $15 just to go in and have a tailor taper the inside and the sleeves of your shirt. Here's one of my favorite shirts that didn't quite fit me correctly, but I went and got it tailored for anywhere from around 12 to $15. And now it outlines my body much better. Now then, outside of a proper fit, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the different ways you can keep that shirt tucked in throughout the day. And the first thing on the list is something that I'm sure you're all very familiar with, and that is the military tuck. So step one, tuck the front of the pants and zip, but don't button just yet. Leave the back of the shirt untucked for now. We're zipping to help hold the shirt down while we finish tucking. Then move your thumbs from the front of your pants to the back, removing any slack along the way. Step two, pull the sides of the back portion of your shirt tight and then tuck. And step three, adjust as needed throughout the remainder of your evening, which unfortunately is something you're gonna have to do. In my personal experience with the military tuck, I found that it's not an effective long-term solution for keeping your shirt tucked in. And by long-term, I mean throughout the entirety of your day. If you're looking for something that's gonna last throughout the entirety of your day, I would suggest that you look at these next two options, the first of which is Magna Tucks. These are actual magnets that retail for right around $30 and they work better than I had anticipated. You can see that they come in pairs and you place a pair on each side of your shirt. The flat side on the inside of your shirt and the rounded side on the outside of your shirt. The rounded portion is supposed to sit just below your belt and that's what makes it work so well. It's going to clasp the shirt and sit below that belt and prevent the shirt from sliding up any further. Also, proper placement is incredibly important with these magnets if you wanna keep your shirt successfully tucked in throughout the day. These things are fantastic because they save you a lot of time and they're not dramatically inconvenient like other options for keeping your shirt tucked in. One thing you do need to be aware of though is in order to make these work effectively, you do, again, going back to my first point in the video, you have to have a shirt that fits you properly. If you have a shirt that's overly baggy or pants that are unnecessarily loose, then even with a belt, you're not gonna be able to secure your shirt properly. A couple other things I would like to address with respect to the Magnetux is yes, you are gonna have some slight bumps on the sides of your hips, but they're really not that noticeable. And the last thing is if you're planning on raising your arms above your head or if you foresee any excessive movement taking place throughout your day, the Magnetux are probably gonna have to be readjusted throughout your day because if there's excessive force being applied to the shirt, they will struggle a little bit to keep that shirt securely tucked. But they are very convenient and they are not uncomfortable in the slightest. And the third and final method for keeping your shirt securely tucked in is a pair of shirt stays. And this is probably the most time intensive and also probably what a lot of guys would consider the most inconvenient method for keeping your shirt tucked in. However, these are hands down the most effective way to keep your shirt tucked in all day. Admittedly, depending on how long you're wearing them in the day, they can become uncomfortable after some time, which is why I do find myself turning to the Magnetux more and more depending on how long I need to keep my shirt properly tucked. So for example, in a longer work day where I feel like the shirt stays would be uncomfortable, I'm using the Magnetux, but for a formal event or a quick meeting, I'm using shirt stays. I have here a pair of KK&J stays. These also go for $30, just like the Magnetux. So if you'd like, I will link to the 
the pair that I have down below in the description. And also, if you guys would like to see a full in-depth review of these specific shirt stays, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to make that video happen. And there you have it, guys. Those are the three best ways to keep your shirt properly tucked in. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, leave a like right down below. And if you are new here, consider subscribing to the channel. Also, feel free to leave me a comment down below if you guys have any questions. I love interacting with you guys and answering any questions that you might have. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.